to Cape Chronicle. I'm Mike Rennick. Jeff Rawson has brought a modern musical marvel to Cape Girardeau, thanks to the founding of Scout Hall. He's here to talk about all the work and the fun that comes with Scout Hall. Jeff, welcome. Thanks for having me, man. A marvel. It is indeed, actually. Sure, we'll go with it. It, yeah, it, 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 it is indeed. All right, how, how long has Scout Hall been open now? So we've been open a little over a year now. A little over a year yeah. already. Wow. And just tell us briefly, we'll get into some of the acts, but like the, the, the idea behind Scout Hall and, and why it was born. Sure. Yeah, we started um, the Scout brand back in 2017. It's kind of a way to just continue to connect the community to cool and interesting things that are happening around us every day. Um, through the Scout, started planning events and running different events around town and then got really lucky to be a part of the, uh, the project at 420 Broadway um, and have an opportunity to create a space that we could start hosting our own events. And that was kind of the beginning of things at Scout Hall last year. I know that uh, you also have uh, ran the Shipyard Music Fest in the past, and uh, that that seems like you, you're starting to see a lot of some you know some great acts that came to Shipyard uh, being booked now at Scout Hall. Yeah, and that was a, a big part of Scout Hall was seeing the things happen through the festival of um, our ability to to get these folks to come to Cape to perform, um, especially these a lot of these uh, up and coming acts and, and, and some really established touring acts and that they really enjoy their time in Cape when they were coming to the festival. Um, the hospitality, the people here, the, the engaged crowds. Uh, so it was really a, an easy transition into having a venue to do that every week. So are you, are you finding that Cape is becoming a spot that, you know, when, when you guys you know, go looking or, or asking, it's like, oh yeah, we, we want to be there. We want to we want to get to Cape and, and, and perform. Yeah, I mean, Cape's always had a great history of, of music, right? We've had, we've had um, a good foundation in music and um, with more spots around town, bringing people to town and a great, you know, local scene that continues to grow. Um, you know, we hear a lot of like, how do we pronounce the name of your town? Like when we <laughs> talk to, to touring agents and uh, or to, uh, different bands and uh, but when they get here, um, they always want to come back. We hear it after every show. is like we get an email the next Monday, you know, what's available for six months from now. They want to come back in. So they, they really enjoy their time here. And you've had a diverse lineup of music as well. Yeah, we're trying to, uh, to really create diversity in the, the acts that are coming through. A little something for everyone. But then um, to also introduce some, some new sounds um, that maybe haven't got to play in Cape for a while or maybe haven't been here at all. So I know we have some photos of Scout Hall, and uh, as we take a look at those, uh, you know, I know that the, the facility, I mean, you, I'd, I'd see you on Broadway, like, nonstop. You know, you were always, <laughs> yeah. uh, and still are, actually still walk the path quite often, but um, what were some ideas that went into how to utilize the space? Uh, had you guys looked at some other places? Did you use consultants, or was this kind of like, Hey, we, we got this brainchild that we're going to create and run with it. Sure, we had some, some great architects, uh, but also spent time in other cities exploring other spaces and finding ways that we could adapt a lower level space like what you find at Scout Hall into what we've turned it into today. Uh, so spent time in, in Austin and Chicago and Nashville and different places and kind of took the best bits that we could find um, and kind of brought those to Cape for Scout Hall. You know, the, the inside, lower level, kind of reminds me of the duck room in St. Louis, yeah. you know, a little bit. Um, and then and then you got the outside as well. So, you know, really, and, and, and big spaces to, it's, it's that size venue um, has been missing from this, you know, this area. And you've got two two ways to really accommodate some some nice crowds uh, in a really beautiful setting. Yeah, it's large enough to have a, a, a good full show for a band and create a really good atmosphere, but also small enough to be an intimate space if you want to do you know something smaller, a singer-songwriter night or a jazz night or something that's just a little bit uh, more intimate. And I know we're, the theme is music, but Scout Hall itself, uh, you, you do many other events there as well. Sure, we have a monthly event called Singo, uh, which is... That's music. It's music, I that's guess, music. yeah. It's bingo, but we repl replaced the numbers yeah. with, with uh, song titles. Um, we also were doing a grown-up book fair this month, which is a big hit. Um, we do private events. People rent the space out. We kind of create custom experiences for people in there as well. So if, uh, if someone is wanting to book there, um, really it's open to any sort of event that that room may be sure. uh, appropriate for. Yeah, absolutely. We've, uh, we've seen a wide variety of things come through over the past year and um, always open to, to coming up with something new. So your thoughts, you know, you mentioned 
about you know kind of that foundational piece that's been a part of uh, Cape with live music. Um, you know, your thoughts about kind of being right there in the middle of that. You know, I know that I know that just because I know you well, I know that you wanted to find ways to bring people together, um, and it seems like. You know, like you're checking some of those things, you know, off that list, so to speak, whenever you moved to Cape and had some thoughts about how to help bring a vibe here. Yeah, like I'm not talented at all, right? Like I don't, <laughs> I can't play an instrument, I can't sing, but I love music. I love creating spaces that um, inspire people or give a people a place to be inspired in. Um, and music does that so well. So while I don't get to be on stage and have no business being on stage, it's cool to be able to kind of be in the background and help uh, orchestrate to the, to the extent that I'm able to. Um, just a small part of a much bigger, cooler thing happening in Cape. You mentioned uh, you mentioned Singo, and I know that that uh, we've worked together on that. Uh, you want nothing. It's funny. You want you want like nothing to do with it. You're like I don't want to be on the stage. No, no not at I all. I don't want to be have any part of that at all. Uh, so that 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 behind the scenes. Uh, visionary type piece is where you kind of rebel. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't even use visionary. I just like to see people having a good time. So just to be on the edge of the room watching a community get together, especially folks that don't normally hang out together or, or you don't see them in spaces at the same time, um, that's the big payoff for me every time is just to see a group of um, diverse people getting together and enjoying time together, especially around music. Anything special coming up at scout hall again any big music plans that are going to be there yeah coming we, have, up? we have a lot of show announcements coming okay uh, those are coming soon but we do have several things happening this month um lots of private events but of course singo um, we have um, a great event we're doing with the radio station um, that's announced tomorrow so that'll be coming really soon all right um uh, just announced a couple shows today we have a great jazz performance coming up on the 26th of october um, and then um, halloween underground a great show uh, with Kirby, um, Kill Cam, and Negative Whiplash. We're doing that with Spectrum, partnering with those great guys, our great neighbors down the street. It's going to be a rad show on the 26th. Fantastic. Okay, and people want to find out more. Is there a, a good website to go to? Or Yep, thescouthall.com, or just yell at me as I'm walking down Broadway every day. Yeah, yeah, because you are. <laughs> thescouthall.com. Well, Jeff, we, uh, we've had a chance to talk, you know, chat several times, and um, I know that everyone appreciates the hard work that you and your group puts in to make the community better from an arts and music standpoint, and uh, best of luck and continued success. Thanks so much, man. Appreciate it. All right, Jeff Ross, and stay tuned for Parker Bond with Spectrum Record Lounge, here next on Cape Chronicle.